Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your Fortnite to fix all kind of FPS drops, lagging, stuttering, rubber banding, and other black screen related issues in the new Simpsons season. I hope this video helps you out because we're going to be covering all of the best windows and game settings. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right. Step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply go over to settings on your PC. First head over to personalization and then click on colors and then you want to have to disable transparency effects as this will disable your windows and surfaces appear translucent and this will save a little bit of your system resources. Then you want to have to come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It is an overlay service and you don't want this running in the background so simply disable that. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this one on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your gaming performances drastically. Click on the graphic settings underneath and then you want to have to enable optimizations for windowed games and under the advanced graphic settings you want to have to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as this simple settings will help you to utilize your graphic card to render the game. Then you want to have to click on add desktop app button over here and go to the normal location of Fortnite. For me it should be over here and go over to Fortnite game binaries win64 and select the win64 shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here and once that is added select it and for the GPU preference select high performance. Make sure that you're utilizing your hardware graphics over your CPU based graphics because it is very very beneficial. Next step is compatibility settings and for that go to the download location of Fortnite. Simply head over to binaries win64 and then select the Fortnite win64 shipping.exe. Go over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Now over here you have to click on disable full screen optimizations. Click on change high dpi settings and enable override high dpi scaling behavior click on ok and then click on apply and once that's done simply close the step this will help you to fix all kind of unnecessary black screen issues and micro stutters next step is using hone.gg to optimize the performance of your pc and fortnite simply come to the link in the description below and download hone for absolutely free once you open up hone it should look like this and the first thing that you need to do is simply click on create a backup all you have to do is simply click on create a new backup and then you want to have to name it fortnite just so you can remember it i would highly recommend you guys to not skip any of these steps before moving ahead once it's done all you have to do is head over to the optimization tab and then you want to have to enable some of these optimization first one that you are needing over here is optimize io operations simply enable this one then you want to have to disable xbox on your pc simply do that one and it is a feature breaking setting so you just want to have to click on continue over here because xbox is an overlay service but if you use it you can simply skip this one next optimize memory management Management. This is what you have to enable along with general windows optimization disable power throttling You want to have to enable this one as well come down and find gaming optimizations Simply turn this one on as well and this will help you to reduce unwanted input lag other than that Hone also has an inbuilt game section where it will auto detect all of the games that you have installed on your PC. All you have to do is simply find Fortnite over here, select the game and over here click on best performance and simply click on activate the preset and it will automatically apply the best settings for your PC and Fortnite to optimize your performance. Hone is a very useful tool if you guys are looking to boost your FPS and improve the performance of your PC and play Fortnite without any issues. So make sure to go check out hone.gg and explore more features for yourself for free from the link in the description below. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications. And for that, simply search for edit group policy on your PC. Look for it and open it up. If you're on Windows 11 Pro, this one will be visible for you guys. For other versions of Windows, this step will not be applicable. So you wanna have to skip it. Over here, all you have to do is go over to computer configuration, then administrator templates, windows components, and then app privacy. And right over here, you'll find something called let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and make sure that this policy is turned on. Then default for all applications should be set to force deny. Click on apply and simply click on okay. This will deny applications running in the background, helping you to optimize the performance of your PC. Next step is creating a restore point. And for that, simply search for create a restore point. And then you want to have to search for your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Fortnite, just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings and your PC settings back to normal without any data loss. Once it's done, close it and close system properties. The next step is Fortnite Simpson FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can download it for absolutely free or you can join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Over here, I have left seven very simple yet efficient and useful folders which will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. The first one is CPU Priority in which I have left AMD as well as Intel CPU Priority. This helps you to optimize the performance of your CPU by changing the 
the D word value. Simply double click to apply it according to your PC and then head over to the second folder, which is RAM optimization, in which I have left tons of preset according to your system memory. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to double click and apply this registry over here. Could be different for you, so you can apply it according to your PC. And once again, if that doesn't work out well for you guys, you can always reset it back to default right away. Third folder over here is Fortnite optimization, in which I have left three priorities according to your game. It includes above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services over here which are absolutely useless on your PC but they are still running in the background consuming your useful system resources. And to disable them you have to double click and apply every single one of these registries to disable them except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services. And once again if you have disabled anything by mistake and you want to have to turn this back on head over to the revert registries folder and you can enable that by simply double clicking on these registries. Fifth one over here is the most important one which is power plan settings. I have left import ultimate performance power plan. You you have to right click and then run it as administrator and this will run a powershell command on your pc then you want to have to double click on power plans and now you have to select ultimate performance which should be added under the show additional plans this will help you to disable all kind of power saving features on your ethernet on your mic on your mouse keyboard and any other input devices to stop your pc and this power plan basically helps you to optimize the performance of your hardware to reduce unwanted input delay and increase the performance of your games next is input delay improvements in which i have left keyboard latency fix for which you need to leave your keyboard model name in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here then for the mouse latency registries i have left a fixed mouse curve which is actually a setting inspired by the pros all you have to do is simply right click and then edit in notepad over here just make sure that the mouse sensitivity is set to 10 and the smooth x and y curves are exactly as it is the fixed mouse curve registry includes the mouse sensitivity mouse X curve and Y curve along with the speed. It will make your mouse movements more realistic, reducing any kind of input latency. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files. You wanna have to right click and then run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary files on your PC, which will help you to optimize the performance of your PC drastically. These temporary files are absolutely useless, but they still utilize your system resources. And I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Once that's done, press enter to close it. Next is MSI mode the utility 3.0 right click and then run it as administrator once it opens up look for your graphic card select the MSI button next to it and for the inter priority select high and then you want to have to click on the apply button this will allow your graphic card to handle more interrupts more efficient next is quick CPU and this is a setup file all you have to do is double click to open it up click on next Select I accept, hit on next, next and install. Once it installs, all you have to do is click on finish and will open up quick CPU in front of you. All you have to do is set the core parking index up to 100% along with the frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance. Then you have to click on the apply button over here and once that's done, it will disable core parking on your PC and allow your PC to run your CPU on its maximum performance. Once that is done, simply close it and then you can close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling as many startup applications as you can and for that press Control, shift and escape all together on your PC and this will open up task manager. All you have to do is head over to the fourth tab which is startup applications and you'll find all of the applications that you've installed on your PC. What you have to do is find the applications that you do not use right after the boot of your PC, right click on them and simply click on disable. This will disable these applications and save your system resources to open these applications every time you boot up your PC and it will not only save your system resources while you're playing the games but will also help you to reduce the last bios time that is the time taken by your PC to boot up. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and other network related issues using no ping. I have left a free download link to no ping right in the description below. No ping has a library of more than 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Fortnite over here, select the game and then you want to have to look for the server nearest to you. It will automatically detect the server with the lowest amount of ping and all you have to do is simply click on optimize the game. It will one click connect your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, helping you to fix all kind of packet loss, ping issues and all other network related issues. No ping also has varieties of FPS boosting tools over here, which you can apply on your PC 
to optimize the performance of your games and increase your FPS as well. Once again, I would leave a link to Noping right in the description below. So make sure to go check it out and activate it for free from the link in the description below by joining the Discord server. Next step is the best in game settings and for that simply open up your game. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to setting. Then make sure that your window mode is set to windowed full screen or full screen. Both of them works absolutely fine. For vSync, it should be turned off. Frame rate limit should be set to unlimited. Rendering mode, I'd recommend you guys to go with performance. And if you guys have a DX12 compatible graphic card, go with DX12. This setting is gonna be for everyone who are using DX12. So for that, the quality preset should be set to medium. Anti-aliasing and super resolution. If you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card, go with NVIDIA DLSS. If you guys have an Intel based graphics, go with Intel Zest. Both works fine. For the DLSS quality, you guys can go with balanced or quality as well as performance if your GPU is a bit low end. Dynamic 3D resolution should be turned off. Nanite virtualized geometry off. Global illumination, you guys can go with ambient occlusion. It is actually very cheap, but adds a little bit of darkness and ambient lighting in the games. However, you can turn it off for competitive advantages. For reflections, go with off. Shadows, off because no shadows is actually better for competitive gameplay. View distance, go with far. Textures, you can go with high or medium, both works fine. Effects, go with low and post processing, low. Hardware ray tracing should be turned off. And Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, if that is available for you, go with on plus boost and show FPS should be turned on. After that, click on the apply button. Once you're done applied these graphic settings, head over to sound and then make sure that the sound quality is set to low. After that, click on the apply button and then you have to restart your game once to see if everything fixes. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I would definitely appreciate y'all and I'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.